<sighs> a lot of times if it's like a rainy day, people are like, yes, I don't need to go to work. Or if it's a snow day, people say, yes, I don't need to go to school. Or if something's cancelled, they say, yes, it's cancelled. But when you're really doing what you love, if something's cancelled or there's a snow day or it's rainy or whatever. But if you're really doing what you love, then whenever a snow day comes or a rainy day comes or it's cancelled, you're going to find a way to make it happen anyway. You're going to find a way to make a lot of progress in the area anyway. Because you just love it so much. Everything else you do in the day, four minutes is a very short period of time. And if you can spend that high quality time with yourself first thing in the morning, everything else for the rest of the day will feel easier for sure. Uh, like when you're doing that willpower challenge, your brain is happy to jump to any other activity and do that. Like I'll happily like clean the dishes, I'll happily go pick weeds outside, I'll happily go whatever file my taxes or something. I'll happily go do something I've normally been putting off because when you're holding this, all your brain wants to do is skip and do something else because it, it's not very pleasant and it's very uh, constricting. <laughs> you feel very constrained just doing that one thing. So if you can have the willpower, the focus, fortitude to make it through those four minutes or six minutes or two minutes even or 10 minutes, whatever you set for yourself, then anything else for the rest of the day is gonna feel like you're like you have more control over. If you can't control your mind for four minutes, first thing in the morning, then you may have a difficult time controlling your life. So practice controlling your mind and you'll find that you have more control over your life. Alright guys, I just did some work on the app, talk to developers, probably spend the first hour in the morning talking to developers. Um, and then I've, now I've had a couple of bananas here. I'm gonna have another banana. Usually I start my morning off with juice, fresh squeezed juice, just boom, right there, the best juicer ever. Love it. Um, but uh, lately, I mean, not lately, uh, just, I just ran out, so I gotta have a couple of bananas before I pick up more oranges. One of my biggest weaknesses is replying to emails on time. Like, I can reply to emails, but it just might take me a few weeks, a few months. Uh, so now uh, first thing in the morning is like when I have the most willpower to do it So if I ever like have the inclination to answer a couple of emails I'll take full advantage of that and go ahead and start e answering them um, So just t take a look at these two different emails. So there's an email here as you can see it's pretty it's pretty like spaced out um, a lot of different spaces there and then there's like another email here which I uh, Have a hard time replying to so I think it's this one. Yeah, so someone sent me a big email like that and I'm like, holy smokes, man, look at all that stuff. So I gotta like, when I read the reply, I gotta like space it out, I copy and paste it and space it up before I can reply to it. So when you're, when you're uh, replying to, I mean, when you're sending someone an email, send them like, every sentence, put like a space between, make, make each paragraph like two sentences tops. Um, maybe three tops maximum and ideally only send someone like especially if it's your first email to them Try and only send them like maybe two or three sentences tops uh, Just to get the ball bouncing but build some momentum It's much easier for me to reply to a one sentence email than it is for me to reply to like a big fat block of text so um, Anyways, yeah, like I said one of my weaknesses is replying to emails on time or in a fashionable timely manner I should say um, 
But I, I don't I don't believe in, in improving your weaknesses as such. I just think you should quadruple down on your strengths and just make your strengths your key. Like me, I can crank out these videos often and I can just spend a lot of my time doing that and really enjoy it. And the other things I'm really good at, the other things I absolutely suck at. And I don't want to spend my time sucking at things. So um, when it comes to emails, I'm just it's just me, man. Like I, I don't want to change who I am, especially things I don't even enjoy doing. So I don't love enjoy I don't love replying to emails. Uh, I'll do it, you know, from time to time if I really feel like it. But it's not something I absolutely love doing. So how to contact me? You're better off sending me a Snapchat. I love replying to Snapchats. I really do. Um, Facebook messages, yeah, they're, they're better than email, but still not as good. Oftentimes I'll read a Facebook message and not reply to it. Uh, and it's not because I don't like you. It's like my mom sends me a Facebook message, I don't reply to her. My sister sends me one, I don't reply to her. My, 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 my friends, my aunts, my uncles send me Facebook messages. I read them, I don't reply to them. I like my good friends, even like my, my, my previous girls I used to live with, like they'll send me texts or not a text, but a Facebook message, I just don't reply. So. I just, there's something there that I just don't like replying to. It's so impersonal. But sending me a Snapchat, I love it. I'll send you a snap right back. That's the best way to get a hold of me. Anyways, I've got a few more emails to get back to. Quite a few more. And then uh, I'm going to uh, start the day. Tri bike. TT bike. These Yo Yoleo wheels. They are so nice, man. Carbon fiber. Deep dish. Very beautiful. Very fast. And very affordable. So. You can buy like a whole bunch of really expensive options online for different wheels. You can pay like you know three, four thousand dollars for a set of wheels here. I got both of these for like seven hundred bucks or something around there. And uh, amazing customer service. You send them an email, they get right back to you. You post something on Instagram, they get right back to you. I asked them so many questions and they got back to me like so quickly. It's very, uh, I really appreciate that. Especially coming from me, who I don't, I don't like replying to emails, but I love when people reply to me. I definitely appreciate when people reply to me. If you want to get yourself a pair, head over to yoleo.com and um, get yourself a nice quick pair. I'm going to go for a 20 minute run right now. I really enjoy running so it doesn't require any willpower. It's required willpower not to run. But I'm nursing this hamstring, so. I think the hamstring will be happy. We'll see how it feels today. Easy 20 minute run. See you later. Why do you think I'm not still in my pajamas? <laughs> oh. oh fuck, that's good shit. <laughs> <laughs> you've, you've literally had like like a 3 out of 10 durian, like the worst durian ever yesterday, and you're already like in, in love. love. Oh my god. But it's like the best thing I've ever tasted. Oh my god. That this one really looks good. like the mother load. It's a good one. You got the best one. You can have some. So I rarely watch content on YouTube, but when I do, I make sure it's really beneficial. I make sure it's really moving me forward in life. And you know when something's moving you forward in life. You can just feel it. You can just hear it. You can see it. You just know that it's helping you become a better person. So for me, when I first got on the YouTube game, when I first started on the raw food game, it was all about Durian Rider. I watched so much Durian Rider. And then and then I moved to Dan McDonald. And Dan McDonald did for me what Durian Rider did for me. It just moved me forward into that raw, fresh fruit and vegetable game. That I wouldn't be who I am today without watching the people that I used to watch so much of in the past. So people ask me, Harley, would you go back to cooked food? And I'm like, why would I go back to cooked food? Go back to feeling crap. Go back to feeling disconnected with Mother Nature. Go back to, you know, the apathy, the, the chronic fatigue, the colitis. Going back to getting have me having acne and all the associated things that I had before. So thank you so much to all the people putting up YouTube videos in the past. Helped me make me who I am today. And I hope I can help you make you who you want to be in the future. Just by you tuning in and watching these things over and over and over again. You know, if, if, you, if you don't have an example in your life showing you to eat fresh fruit and vegetables like this, man, then like, how are you going to stay raw? You know, you've got you to gotta have the example. you got to be able to see the example. And um, know that it's real. Know that this actual. Know that this is actually a way of living. You can live your life on just fruits. You can do 
months and months on just coconut water. You can do months and months on just oranges. You can do months and months on even just vegetable juice, yeah? But if there aren't many people telling you that in life, then you might get suckered into thinking that you need to eat a bunch of crap that you'd never find in nature, which is completely ridiculous, guys. Look around us, you know, it's just nature. Nectarines. Got some nectarines. Oh yeah. And what else we got here? What did I order? Grapefruits. I ordered super I ordered all this? You ordered all that. So you're telling me to be a fruitarian you need to stock up like all that? They shut down like six slaughterhouses. Where? In Yulin, not in China. No way. They rescued over a thousand dogs. They rescued a thousand dogs where? In China? In Yulin, yeah, at the dog meat festival. Re recently? Yeah, today. No way. I know. That's a high five for vegans? Yeah. If you're a carnivore, you eat dirt. Get your B12 I got and it tastes good, right? Full of frugivore, sweet fruit. So I'm gonna give you some gardening tips on how to make the best food grow for you. <laughs> Tip number one, coming up just a sec. Take a <laughs> Tip number one is to always spit near your food. Like, always spit. And then your DNA gets into the roots and it grows nutrients just for your bio. Camera lady's having a laugh attack. She, she <laughs> lost her job. But the, the tip oh. is to spit in there so then the food grows food for your needs. It knows what you need by your spit. Second tip is to once you grow the food, don't pick it like this because this shit's not ripe. Eat it right, but you can eat it anyway, but, and make sure you love it, love it, love it, but make sure it's ripe. Mmm, bio-individuality. Mmm, that's really nice, man. Will you vote? <laughs> third, third tip <laughs> is to put a little bit of ocean water in your soil, and your plants are going to filter all the garbage in the ocean, so... Normally don't consume this many bananas, but today is one of those days where it's a banana day. Here we got 13 bananas. I'll probably have a couple more before bed. But um, yeah, man, you've got to stay, stay stocked up. You've got to focus on the fruit if you want to stay fruitarian. If you want to stay raw vegan, if you want to stay raw, you've got to focus on the fruit. Focus on the fruit. You can do it. For me, staying raw for all these years has not been about willpower. It's been about focusing on the fruit. It's been focusing on what I want, not what I don't want. It's about focusing on the fresh, sweet, living, raw enzymes in fruit. Watching certain people on YouTube over and over and over and over and over again until I become them. And uh, I just live their path, the path I want now. Certain people lay out a path for you in life and it's up to you if you want to take that path. So if it's a positive path, you think it's positive, take it. If it's a negative path, take another positive path. You can find many different paths. How do you take that path? Watch their content on repeat over and over and over and over again. Convert it to MP3. Listen to it over and over and over again. Just let it become your thoughts. And your thoughts will become your reality. I did not become who I am today by accident. I took the parts of other people that I like, and I just watched them over and over and over again, and I made them a part of who I am. So be very selective about who you consume on Snapchat, who you consume on Instagram, who you consume on YouTube, because these people are going to become you. So pick the best people and watch them over and over. That's the day. That's the longest day of the year. As you can see, it's still light out. And it's uh, 9.40 p.m. 9.40 p.m. and it's still light out. We gotta check this out. Look at this, guys. This is really cool. <laughs> really special. Because every day after this, it just gets darker and darker. So today is like the peak. You know, see there's a triangle right there? It's like the shortest day of the year. And right now we're at the longest day of the year, right there. And after that, it's a dance love. That was my day. Thanks for experiencing it with me. There's a lot I didn't show. There was three and a half hours of Skype conversations. There was half hour of phone conversations with people and this stuff I didn't want to film. It's like these conversations I'm having with people now, man. Like if I did record them, it's like the best podcast ever. Like the stuff I communicate with people about is so profound, it's so leading edge. No one else is talking about this stuff. It's not like there's like a massive community of raw fooders. It's a small ass community, man. There's like, how many people do you know are doing like fully, fully, fully raw? How many people do you know that are admitting to their cooked food addictions? You know, th these, are, these are the two types of people I, I interact with on a daily basis. People who are doing fully raw and people who are trying to do fully raw and coming to their senses and realizing, holy crap, man, I can't get off this cooked food. It's actually harder than I thought. So I talk with a lot of these people and I can't just go on the street and talk to anyone about that. I can't. I can't just go knock on my neighbor's door and say, howdy neighbor, like, you know, I used to be addicted to cooked food. You wouldn't understand. 
One of those things that, that people miss out on is, yeah, they focus on the diet, they focus on the raw food, but they don't focus on the community aspect, being around other people physically. It's one thing to be connected to a community online, but it's another thing entirely to be connected in the physical. Right now, I'm talking to a camera. I'm not getting any energy back from you guys. It's me just putting out, 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 out. And then when I get some comments or when I get a Snapchat from you guys, it's like, oh cool, like I got some feedback back. But it's not actually the physical energy. There's no physical energy there. Like when I'm close to you in person, I put my hand to you, you can feel that magnetic energy. I can touch, you know, your arm and I can feel your arm, you can feel my arm or whatever. And there's that physical energy there. It's like the difference between live music and recorded music. Live music is so powerful, it penetrates your soul. It makes you just totally uplifted. The vibration when the energetic vibrations there's a, a radius around each of us and we emit this sort of love energy this love energy and if we're not around other people like I'm all alone here and I just keep making these YouTube videos it's not the healthiest thing the cells in our body need community man the body knows it's alone right now the mind thinks it's talking with people it can kind of trick itself to think we're with people but the body knows man there's no one else around here and it needs other people so Definitely, no matter how raw you are, make sure you're also around other people who are eating healthy foods like you, like ideally eating the same foods as you. Share your meals with people and uh, you'll just feel a lot happier, healthier. Um, but yeah, just some things to think about from the longest day of the year. See you guys next year <laughs> on this day, June 21st. Peace out. Thanks so much for watching guys, if you want more videos about raw veganism, fraternism, no fat, polyamory, living your dream life, subscribe, hit the red button, and I'll see you tomorrow or the next day.